Tensions between Russia and Ukraine remain high. On Tuesday, U.S. President Joe Biden held talks with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin, where the two leaders discussed the Ukraine issue. And a day after the talks, Biden has said that sending American troops to Ukraine is not an option, particularly without the support of NATO allies. Our report gets you more. That is not on the table. What U.S. President Joe there? Biden on Wednesday said putting American troops on the ground in Ukraine to deter a potential Russian invasion was, quote, not on the table, particularly without the support of NATO allies. It would depend upon what the rest of the NATO countries were willing to do as well. But the idea the United States is going to unilaterally use force to confront Russia invading Ukraine is not on the, in the cards right now. But Biden said there would soon be high-level meetings with Russia and at least four major NATO allies to discuss the future of Russia's concerns about NATO and to try to bring down the temperature on Ukraine's eastern front, where tens of thousands of Russian troops have massed. The Kremlin has denied having intentions to attack Ukraine and says its troop buildup is defensive in nature. Speaking to reporters outside the White House, Biden said he made it clear to Russian President Vladimir Putin during their nearly two-hour virtual meeting on Tuesday that there would be economic consequences like none before if Russia invades Ukraine. I was very straightforward. There were no minced words. It was polite, but I made it very clear. If, in fact, he invades Ukraine, there will be severe consequences, severe consequences. Economic consequences like none he's ever seen. Biden had promised up to $60 million in military aid to Ukraine, the final elements of which will be arriving this week, Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby said Wednesday. Can you say what those are? Um, small arms and ammunition. Biden added that the U.S. had a moral and legal obligation to defend NATO allies if they are attacked, but that obligation did not extend to Ukraine, which is not a member of the alliance. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.